Hello Aquarius, it is your girl Eternal Femme and I'm back with another reading. Um, this is just a quick message for whoever needs to hear it. Like the video if it resonates. Comment down below if you felt the vibe. And subscribe if the reading doesn't resonate today, maybe next time. I don't know who this message is for, but I definitely feel like it is for somebody. I do feel like a, a lot of you guys are embarking on something brand new or it's like something that you've left off and you're about to, you know, pick up where you left off. I do feel like your guys want you to know, like, do it yourself, you know? You have people around you who say that they want to join you. Let them join. But if they're procrastinating, it's not your job to wait for them. It's not your job to try to push them. It's not your job to try to walk them. It is your job to make sure you are doing what is best by you because a lot of you guys made these plans by yourself and you could have had a lot of people who want to join you. They want to jump on the bandwagon, but a lot of them are not going to stay consistent. It is not your position to hold your hand. You are not their trainer. Some of you guys, maybe you are their trainer. Maybe you get paid for this. It's different, but a lot of you guys, no, you don't, you don't. You're paying an energy. And I feel like a lot of y'all, you could be putting a lot of that energy towards making sure that you get up every day. You stay consistent. You show up to those classes, whatever the case is. You need to make sure that you're doing your part for you. You're showing up for you like you've been showing up for others in the past. You, you can't hold everybody's hand. And some of y'all, I know you may feel tempted to want to help people or encourage people to be the best versions of themselves but they have to want it equally just like you want it for them they have to want it for themselves and some people may be up to starting this journey with you but they're not they may not be as inspired or motivated to accomplish something like you are so it's, there's a difference here you may be motivated in something and you may be very driven to get something done versus somebody who just is kind of doing this just because they see you doing it or they feel like it'll be beneficial for some sort of reason but then they get into it and they're realizing hmm this is not for me or I'm not ready for this yet and then they back out of it and there here you are feeling like well what should I do you should keep going <laughs> um whoever those people are let them do them um but your guides are telling you you just need to show up for yourself and make sure you are doing what you're doing some of y'all got people in your life who are going to feel mad or get upset about the fact that you're not waiting on them um to some of y'all like this is somebody who felt like you shouldn't go back to school until they were ready to go back to school you shouldn't start losing weight until they were ready to start like somebody's like oh i thought you were my gym i thought you were going to be my gym partner no start that gym membership if they want to join you, they can join you. But you're not going to wait on anybody. Do not hold yourself back for people who are still trying to figure out whether or not they want to start. No. You've clearly made it your mission to move past the starting line. And you, Rather you're walking, jogging, running, you're starting. Um, and progress is better than no progress. But I feel like if you're just sitting, standing still, waiting on somebody else to do it with you, that's when you're going to hold yourself back. Your guys are telling you, just do it. They are also saying... Do not let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. So if you are making plans, make sure you keep them to yourself because in this journey that you are on, you're going to start seeing a lot of people shoot colors and you're going to start seeing a lot of people really show their ass because you are deciding to work on yourself without them. And they felt like, you know, maybe you guys had a codependent relationship or this could even be a situation where like, they feel like your progression is causing them to kind of look at themselves like they're not good enough or they should be doing more with their life. That's not your problem that your success is triggering people into feeling low or insecure about themselves. It is not your job. Whether you know this or not, that is actually going to help them grow. Some of them, it won't. Some of them, it will cause them to be very envious and jealous. And some of them, it would actually inspire them to get off their ass. You know, simply as that. But I feel like it's just, like I said, it's just not your position to feel like you have to wait on them. No, you do not. Keep going, take a chance, keep working on it. If somebody wants to do something, let them do it. If they fall off, don't fall off. Don't 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 jump off and say, well, I'm not gonna start going back to the gym until you go. No, keep showing up for yourself every day, okay? Keep doing what you're doing every day. Stay consistent, make a routine. Do not allow yourself to go around people who also trigger you into old ways. If you know that you're trying to study, don't try to get somebody who wants you to stay out all night. Stay out on the phone all night. 
hang with them all day when you know you got to get up at 6 a.m. in the morning. You ain't got time to be kicking around people. You ain't got time to be playing games because you got shit to do. And that is the main point of this reading. You got shit to do. And like they say, if you know better, you do better. If you ain't, if you know you got to get up in the morning, then you shouldn't be hanging out late at night. Okay? If, the, if you know you got to pay that bill, you shouldn't be spending that money online. Okay? If you know that you're dieting, you shouldn't be hanging around people who want to take you out to get fast food every damn day. That ain't your move. That ain't your crowd. Go where you are loved. Go where you are supported. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be seeing a lot of love and a lot of support. And you're going to see what real love and real support looks like when you're around people who are doing the same things you're doing. When you go to that school and you see everybody fighting to get their education, you're going to be like, this is my type of party. Everybody is here for a reason. You go to that gym, you see everybody working on those machines. You see they all there for a reason. If people ain't got no purpose, no place in your life, what you chilling with them for? You know, if people ain't got no purpose, and no, they ain't got nothing to talk about, why are we even talking? What do you need to talk to me about? What do I need to stay up late for? I ain't missing out on nothing. You ain't missing nothing. So that's what I feel. Like the video for resonate. Comment down below if you feel the vibe. Subscribe. Peace.